RTMT is not too fucking bright, you know? First they changed the name to RTM, what is it, a year or two years ago? Now they want to change it to EXO and repaint cars. I don't fucking get it, it's so fucking stupid. Smart ass fucking company, that's what it seems to me. A little bit, they're being a little bit too much like the, uh, the, the stupid transit motherfuckers. I think there should be a CP somewhere along here. I figure maybe in not too much time. My well on the tracks, and there's a, a police officer pull him over and get a train driver a ticket. Really? Yeah. Come on. Well, I'm serious. It's on the way towards a dinosaur dinosaur world. Yeah. My dad almost took me to see a dinosaur world. Mhm. Mm yeah. Where is that? In, this, in, the, in Portland, Oregon. Anyway. Yeah, we only went toward the port, uh, dinosaur world and just had too many traffic. And we had to head back toward Boston instead. Really? Yeah. How come this one's going so slow? The other one's going so fast, how come? Because this guy's gonna stop at the station here, that's why. Another passenger train? Yeah. I didn't tell you that, but technically by the stupid fucking AMT's rules, we're not even supposed to be here. Not a lot to video, not a lot to film, not a lot to be on the fucking platform without a oh, fucking look. stupid ticket. EXO. Yeah, I know EXO is fucking stupid. I want to hear the sound of that FP-59H. Oh man, I don't believe it. I'm lucky. Here's a here's a, one of these uh, overpriced uh, hybrid uh, commuter train locomotives that just came out of the yard there. And uh, wow, is he gonna go on the main line? Fuck, I can't believe all the action here this evening. It's crazy. It'd be even more funny if I knew this engineer. I met one of these guys once. I would wait to see. I used to have a friend who liked that song too. Actually, no, he liked the song "I'm His Latest Flame." Remember that? I'm as, I'm as lead as flame. Do, 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 do. Huh? You know that song. Come on now. He talked and talked, and I heard him say that she had the longest black as hair, the prettiest green eyes everywhere, and the reason is I'm as lead. Yeah, it's Elvis. It's called his. It's called the... And uh, yeah, so it's going to be great to get away from the city for a couple of days. You know? And uh, I might even actually get to go out, out up again, even more north, uh, next week. Because my, my mom and my uh, stepfather, they uh, rented a, a cottage. Or as we call here in French, a chalet. Man, these locomotives are massive. It's unbelievable. This is a hybrid locomotive. They're actually... They were sold by Bombardier, but get this, they were fucking made in Germany. They're not even, they're not even North American. Strangest fucking thing. Yeah. Bombard, uh, yeah, that's what I like about you. You're, you're, you know, you have respect for... Oh, Christ, is that a Via coming in? Yeah, it is. You know, you, you pronounce things correctly. Not the greatest view, eh?
flashing green signal. Whoa, that's rare, man. Right, what does that mean? You can go, but you're going to stop or something? Maybe, eh? Meanwhile, in the interim... Add a helmet. Okay, coming or what? Ditch lights. I think the only thing I don't really like about this camera is that it's lighter, quite a bit lighter than the uh, Nikon I had, so it shakes more easily, especially when you're zoomed in on something there. Tack up that hybrid electric diesel. Oh, it's giving me the bell signal. Man, that thing is smoky. It's a commuter stopping at Sauvé station. Station Sauvé. Oh, that dog is annoying. I like how the AMT only runs those hybrid locomotives. You know, pretty much on this line. They don't run them on, you know, so much on the Vaudreuil line. That's all they run on this line, I think, is those hybrid locomotives because they want people to think that, oh, they're helping out to save the environment, helping out Mother Nature. You're not going to put those FP59 PH's classic, reliable, good old EMD locomotive. No. Anyway, I'm still filming them. Still like trains, you know, I still love trains. Trains! Does anybody like fucking trains? Oh, he's coming fast, too. So now we get the same type of train, diff two different angles. I'm gonna pretend I'm a fucking, uh, pretend I'm a, uh, sniper here in the fucking bush. So to speak. Do, 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 do. There we go, a different angle I've never filmed before. It'd be cool to see some F 59 PH locomotives on here though. Nice summer evening scene. Oh man, they're smoky when them diesels are running, eh? I like that.
Good old FP-59, FH-59. Locomotive kicking it in the rain. Or should I say rain and smog? Oh cool, here comes that commuter that was parked there for a while over there. Right on. Meanwhile, there's like a thunderstorm approaching. Back to the shops. The original owner, the guy's like 80 something, I think. You know? And I told him, I was like, geez, you know what? I, I told him I've been following this car, I've been photographing it for years. He bought a brand new 1978. Doesn't even have a V8, it's a 250 straight six in it. You know? And, uh, and I said to him, I said, man, you know how much I would love to go for a ride in that car? I never rode in a checker, it's one of my favorite cars. So he took me and my cousin for a ride, man, along the fucking lakeshore, right next to the river, filmed it. Fucking fantastic. Amazing. And now I'm filming a train going by here at the railroad crossing. Oh, hang on just a second. Handiac train. The only line that has these old Bombardier 700 series cars. Single level. Vintage units at this point, 1989. There you go, good timing. <laughs> 